What's up everyone? Happy Monday and happy nine year trading anniversary to me. So as of today, officially, I've been trading for over nine years now. Next year is gonna be a decade trading, which completely blows my mind. So as you guys know, I make these videos every single Monday. I've been making these videos for years and years and years because what I realized is very early in my trading career is Mondays were my worst performing days because I was so excited to trade. Now, I kind of just come on here, talk about the market sentiment, talk about what's working, what's not working, how you guys can make money, right? Because my goal is to have these free videos out there for you so that you guys can learn how to make money, learn how to afford the MIC membership, and then when you come into the club, when you are a member, that money is gonna exponentially increase because now you're gonna have actually a detailed strategy, watch list, everything that you've been missing, right? So hopefully these videos help you get there. So I wanna talk about a couple things today. I'm gonna talk about the simplest day trading strategy to make money. I'm gonna be talking about the 2023 market and the AI sector. So I got some coffee here, give me one second. All right, so let's first start off with 2023. So 2023 is actually starting off really, really hot. Um, as you guys know, we are still in an aggressive bear market, which means that everything is just still going straight down. But in 2023, we're starting to see that change. We're starting to see the interest rates that are going up, go up a little bit smaller. They used to raise it, you know, half a percentage. Now they're raising it a quarter percentage. You know, the Federal Reserve is telling us that they're starting to get inflation under control. Okay, so what? So be it. So that is kind of bringing some hype back into the market. And usually what ends up happening is small cap stocks end up starting the market getting hot again because the way that small cap stocks work is they're based on hype and they're based on speculation. We need speculation money into the markets to push everything up. When people are speculating on stocks like Tesla, Apple, whatever, that's fine. But for us, you know, we need these small cap stocks to go crazy. And that's exactly what we've been getting right now with this current AI sector. So if you guys have missed it, AI is the hottest and biggest thing in the world right now, right? Chat GPT ran by OpenAI just got purchased by Microsoft for 10 billion dollars a 50 percent stake for 10 billion dollars okay so everyone is looking for that next ai play that's going to get bought out or that's going to go crazy so oftentimes we get something in the market called sector plays okay this happens probably about once a year and what a sector play is very simple so when marijuana got legalized a bunch of these random companies started saying, hey, we're going to be a marijuana company. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to transition into a marijuana company. Okay. When COVID happened, all these companies were like, hey, we're going to make the vaccine. Our vaccine is effective in rats. It's this and that. Okay. When, uh, when there was uh, the shootings at Ferguson, all these companies came out and said they're security camera companies, they're body camera companies. When Bitcoin went crazy, all these stocks started saying, all right, we're going to be a Bitcoin mining company, whatever. When the Russia and Ukraine war started, all these oil companies started going crazy. And now in 2023, the sector that is hot is AI. Okay. So sector plays become some of the hottest and biggest opportunities in the market because as you guys know the stocks that we trade is based on like one or two days worth of hype after the one or two days worth of hype is over you know they come back down and it's on to the next one but for sector plays the hype could last weeks if not months if not even longer right so for example now we have these ai stocks like for example the ticker ai is currently trading at $28, up from $10 a share. BBAI went from $2 to $6, right? SOUN is up like crazy. So these are sector plays. These are very, very hot plays. These are incredible opportunities to make money on the long and short side, okay? So what you need to understand about a sector play is they're a lot more difficult than the normal hyped up stocks because there's a lot more media coverage. There's a lot more news and a lot of these crooked companies are gonna utilize that to pump up their stock, right? Because a lot of the companies that we trade under $5 a share, they're all fake companies, right? The only reason why they are listed on the market is to raise money. They are there to raise money. That is the only reason why they are listed, okay? So if you wanna go back through prior sector plays and look at the charts, the body camera play was DGLY, went from five to 30 and then straight down. If you want to look at a marijuana sector play, look at IGC, you know, went up to like 30 and came back down. If you want to look at COVID plays, look at um, 
what was it? I I N D O. I N D O was straight up and straight down. If you want to look at Bitcoin plays, look at R I O T at seventy dollars, right? So all this this is a pattern that is extremely repeatable and extremely profitable. So all you have to understand about the sector plays is that they are going to be a lot stronger for a lot more time. But when that sector play is over, when the tides finally turn, these are multiple six figure opportunities on the long and the short side. So it's all about timing. And then right now in this sector with AI going crazy, I currently think that the hype is still strong. Because the hype is still strong, I don't wanna get involved yet. So my trading today was actually very, very good because I traded a non-AI sector play. If you look across the entire small cap market, every single company is PRing, we're working with AI, we're developing AI, we're buying AI, we're AI this, AI that, whatever. Because that is what's pushing these stocks. That's what's getting a speculation money into these plays. People are buying these stocks, speculating that's gonna be the next one that's bought by Microsoft. It's gonna be bought by Amazon, it's gonna be bought by this, but 99.9999% of the time, they're not gonna be bought out. It's, it's just based on hype. So I've actually made some of my biggest trades. Um, last year, my biggest trade of the year was INDO $700,000 on a sector play first red day. INDO went from like 70 to $20 in one day when it crashed, right? So sector plays are very good opportunities. And what you have to understand as a new trader or whatever it is that right now, the hype is still going. The hype is still continuing. So I, as a short bias trader, do not feel comfortable shorting the AI stocks yet. I am patiently waiting, let them keep PRing. And the reason why I'm mentioning this here is because as an MIC member, you guys have access to all these sector play videos. So if you are an MIC member, go to the video library, type in sector play and watch every single video on it so that when these tides finally turn, hey, you might be able to make six figures, right? Because I, I know I'm gonna be there like focusing on it. So that's number one. Sector plays are gonna be a lot stronger than usual. They're gonna be a lot more pumpable than usual because the overall media is covering it as well. The overall media was covering the Ferguson shooting. The overall media was covering COVID. The overall media was covering Bitcoin. Now the overall media is covering AI. So be very, very careful on the short side of these AI stocks. When the tides finally turn, we will be able to capitalize on it. But until then, recognize that these are monster opportunities on both the long and the short side. You just have to get the timing right. That's number one. Number two is let me actually talk about what I did today to make $9,000 today, right? So right now I'm recording this video at 11.13 a.m. I just finished executing my trades about 30 minutes ago. So like I said, if AI stocks are running like crazy and AI stocks are the hot stock and the hot opportunity, and I don't feel comfortable trading the AI stocks, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be focusing on non-AI stocks. And honestly, I don't know if this, this is lighting, but I'm looking fucking yoked right now. Anyway, so, <laughs> so what I'm focusing on, guys, what I'm focusing on is I'm focusing on uh, non-AI stocks. I am focusing on the stocks that are not in the AI sector. Because oftentimes what we have to realize is the stocks that have the least amount of attention the stocks that people have forgotten about, the stocks that people do not care about, for a short bias trader, those are the opportunities that matter the most. So for me, I actually traded Carvana on Friday. So on Thursday, it went from like $20 all the way down to $12. So Carvana was a parabolic short squeeze that topped out and tanked. So on Friday, it became a low hanging fruit. It became a day two continuation short. But to my surprise, the overall market was extremely strong on Friday. It ended up rebounding and I lost about $12,000, which is, it sucks, but like, hey, I kept it under control. So lost about $12,000 on Friday because of the continuation short. And then today, coming into the morning when there's 15 different AI stocks moving and everyone forgot about Carvana, I nailed the short. My plan, as I posted to MIC, was my plan was looking for a red to green rejection. So I tried to push towards green. It failed. I took a short and I covered on the dip. I took that easy money to begin with just to give myself padding and just to put some money in my pocket. Now, the trade that allowed me to size up larger, the trade that allowed me to get my most profits of the day was after it bottomed, the bounce. Would that bounce reclaim the red to green or would that bounce fail? My bet was with the overall market today acting weaker, 
with not many traders focusing on it, that bounce would fail. I shorted on that bounce around like 1390, 14, 1410 ish. And then it would just collapse straight down, right down to $13. And that's how I made $9,000. So what I did, the simplest strategy that I did today was ignoring the stock that had all the hype of the sector, ignoring the AI plays, ignoring those stocks as 100% up, 200% up, 300% up, that's fine. But sector plays, you must trade very differently. Sector plays, you must wait. Sector plays, you must be patient. Sector plays, you can't get in early. This is not normal small cap garbage. This is a media overall world is covering this stuff. If Microsoft bought a company for $10 billion that's covered worldwide, every single company is gonna come out with a PR. You better believe for the next week, for the next month, every single small cap company is gonna change. There was one company, I forget the ticker, it went from being a marijuana company to a blockchain company to an oil company. I guarantee that company is now gonna be an AI company because all these companies, guys, are scams. They are fake, they are false, they are not real companies. So as a short bias trader, my strategy, the strategy that is repeatable is to find these scammers, find the scam companies and bet that they are going to continue to scam and continue to raise money and continue to add shares to the market because the more supply that enters the market, the lower the price is gonna get. So what I am monitoring for these AI plays, I am monitoring for a first red day setup. You know how we always mention that you need more than one catalyst to amplify the trade? For example, uh, two catalysts to amplify a trade would be a first red day setup combined with a sell the new setup. If those two indicators are there together, it allows you to get bigger. So for me, looking for a sector play plus a first red day means that I could bulldoze in. Now, I don't see those opportunities yet. I'm waiting for them to show up. I'm letting them do their thing. But until then, I need you guys to understand that these are not normal junk companies. These are not normal companies that are just gonna go straight down like every other stock that we trade. So based on that, we must find other stocks that are not in the sector, that are forgotten, that people don't care about, and that's how we capitalize, like I did on Carvana. Carvana is not an AI company, it's not a sector play, it is a stock that is broken, that we get to short on bounces. And as I'm recording this right now, all these sector plays are still going crazy. So I hope this video helps you guys. I hope you guys learned a lot from it. Uh, leave a comment with a lesson that you learned from this video. And if you want to watch a live trading video from me, if you want to get some free day trading education from me, go to myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. And I will see you guys back in the room. And hopefully we get to nail these plays. So thanks, everyone. And see you later.